Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm sure this 2009 Nissan Murano 250XL4. That means it's four-wheel drive. It's got 93,000 kilometers on it, which is only uh, which is approaching 58,000 miles. And by the way, this is the new body design Murano. Um, before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you see on our website right now will not be the same price or final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. you have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Nissan Murano is a 300, uh, uh, 300, uh, it's in, let me backtrack. All right. This Nissan Murano is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category. See, over 20, uh, 2,200 videos, I still make mistakes. Uh, 300 uh, series, which is the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the new 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about it for another year. Now, I do have two ways to pay for this. First one being U.S. dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or you take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Uh, this one doesn't have the rain guards to show you. However, you always, always, always want to get yourself a good windshield visor. Try to keep that dash as cool as possible. All right, so let's jump on in. Let's get this baby started. All right. So it has this fancy key holder right there. So foot on the brake, uh, push this one time. It is a push start, and it goes. Let's go ahead and, hey, that wasn't even cleared. All righty, sneak this in here. 93,244 on the odometer. Oops, let's uh, turn that radio off. I think that was Japanese, so I gotta say sorry Troy and AFN because it was not set there, which which it will be. All right, a couple of warning lights. That one right there is your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And that one down there, that is your um, uh, emergency brake. This one is a kick type, so when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. Uh, other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. That thing pops up on the dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Uh, just to show you, uh, this center one is going to light up and that give you that triangle when there's something wrong. So if you're low on gas or a door is open, etc., that's what it's going to do. Then it'll go back to normal, okay, uh, once you correct it. All right, uh, off to the left here, you do have your monitor. This one does have a rear camera. And then this uh, top right button here, that's a side camera. Let me extend those things out. Now it's a little uh, the foggy. I'm not sure if we could uh, fix that, but you can still see. You can park within an inch of the curb, okay? Then you have your uh, navigation controls, your radio, air conditioning controls. Uh, up here, you have just a little uh, slot here made for some coins or whatnot. And then this is where you're going to uh, engage the four-wheel drive. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I'm afraid to push it because it's red, so I'm not going to push it. Um, then you have uh, your shifter, a uh, little compartment here for whatever you need it for, and then cup holders. You have a center armrest slash console uh, that's going to give you a tray that you can uh, secure up there and uh, some more storage and another power outlet right there, okay? Or a power outlet, I should say. Then you have your two-tier uh, glove box, okay? Then a little bit of storage on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red road flare hanging out over there. And then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. I'm pretty, I, I could drive as is, but I probably slide this up an inch or two to be a little more comfortable driving. And then it does have uh, this um, um, sunglass compartment, okay? Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. All the way back. Now I'd like to take this time to show the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Non-accident vehicle from mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars, okay? And there's some dealers that'll try to, I'm just adjusting this air conditioning a little bit. Some dealers will try to uh, discredit this auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. So there's graded four from the auction with a CNC on the exterior interior. So it's a pretty good grade for this. 
and that's going to be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself and we can also help you decipher it show you a couple other items before we um go to the back seat so it does have a camera uh, uh to the back so you're always going to see what's behind you this one obviously you could change it you could put that back and it's just angled a little differently from where this is okay all right and then what else okay we'll sh start over here this guy hanging out right there is your electronic toll collector. I know it says collection. I, I like saying collector. If this works like Easy Pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the uh, expressway here. Uh, underneath, open up the door here. Okay. Uh, underneath the, uh, the key holder, you have your uh, gas cover release. And then way under here, keep going all the way back, you have your uh, hood release. This is not... Um, a uh, coin slot, that's where your fuses are. I'm pretty sure that's where your fuses are. And then on the door panel, you have your mirror, door lock, and window controls all right here. To turn it off, uh, your foot doesn't have to be on a brake. You just push this one time, and it goes. And then uh, it does have cruise control, which you're probably never going to use. All right, let's go back here. All right. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm about an inch and a half, two inches away from the back of the seat to my knees. Each seat back does have pocket storage. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And I'm just pushing that headrest down. That makes me crazy. Okay. And then a little bit of storage on each door panel. You do have a little compartment here for storage. And that's very old school audio video that you're never going to use. And then it does have an armrest that comes down and level. That's going to give you two cup holders as well. All right. And it does have the all-important vents on each column. That's going to help cool down the, the vehicle a little more quickly. All right, so here you have your uh, trunk area. Now, you can uh, extend that uh, privacy cover out, privacy shade to uh, block uh, whatever you have in here. Or you can take it out and push those seats down. The seats go down by pulling on this lever. Let's see if it wants to work for me, which it does. I'll leave this up. and Oops. And there you have it. Both seats will go down. There's another lever over there, and you have another power outlet uh, over here as well. All right. Let's go to the front here. We're going to show you the engine compartment. They're going to wrap this video up. All right, there you have it. This is a 2.5 liter engine, nice and clean. So there you go. 2009 new body design. Nissan Murano 250XL4. It's got uh, 93,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 58,000 miles. Uh, military prices are at 6,500. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 6,300. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 6,300 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the new 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement. Whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have. Check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny Z's Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how it can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Sergeant Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching, or I should, or I should let me back up. Uh, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.